Hi Scorpio, I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading going into the month of January, 2023, new month, new year. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys. I hope you are enjoying your holiday season with those that you love. Um, I hope you're happy. Hope you're keeping yourself warm and safe. Um, and so Scorpio, we're going to see what's happening in love, romance, and partnership. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're interested in a more personalized reading, well, you are in luck. I do have a sale going on to the end of the month, December 31st. You can grab that deal on Etsy on my tarot readings. I also have some sales going on on my Oracle Tarot deck, Spiritual Jewelry, and Cheat Sheets. All right. Let's jump right in, Scorpio. Let's start off with the one card challenge for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so the one card challenge we have is the Five of Wands. So there may be some friction here. Maybe there's someone in your life. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, where you're just not getting along, where there's some headbutting. You're not seeing things eye to eye. Five of Wands could be tension, drama of some sort. Um, maybe just not in agreement with a situation, with how to take action on a matter. In the past, Scorpio, all right, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. So in the past, there was a lot of confusion, okay, and uncertainty about how this was going to move forward because Ultimately, someone wasn't invested. Someone wasn't showing up for you. When we have the eight and the six of pentacles in verse, you could have felt like they weren't really contributing, doing their part, whether it's financially, resources, time, energy. They were not showing up for you the way you wanted them to show up for you. There's also energy of a situation being unreciprocated or they're just not being balanced. You know, you didn't feel like you were made the priority. And this also could be just a one-sided situation. Maybe you felt like you were getting breadcrumbs. You know, regardless, the Seven of Cups is telling me that, you know, you may have been very confused and confused as to how you felt for this person, but you also could have been very confused about how they felt for you. Let's take a look where the current energy is. Five of Wands could speak about maybe there was some kind of, you know, I'm getting like some kind of disagreement regarding what you guys ultimately wanted, okay? The current energy is the death, Scorpio energy. So there could be an ending. Right? That's your energy, Scorpio. Maybe there is some kind of ending of a situation, of a relationship. We have the Five of Swords and the Emperor in reverse. Five of Swords talks about lies, okay? Dishonesty. Definitely more fighting friction, right? Fives and tarot talk about challenges. So with the Emperor in reverse, there could be a lack of direction right now. And I think because of that, there is an ending. Something isn't moving, right? You don't know how to move forward. So the, the death card is literally putting an end of a chapter, ending of a situation here. And I really think it comes down to someone just not wanting to fight anymore. Someone could be feeling very defeated by this five of swords. So if there has been friction, ongoing issues and challenges, someone is like, that's it. Enough is enough. So this death could actually be a really good thing, putting an end to some kind of disharmony, contentious situation here. In the foundation, we have the wheel. So something is working out for the greater good. Even if it may feel like you've taken some backward steps, the wheel is indicating that there's some kind of favorable outcome coming in. We have the nine of cups, the high priestess, Piscean energy, and the judgment in reverse. So you're definitely dealing with someone that is keeping to themselves. They could be a secret keeper, but they can also just not be revealing something to you right now. I do feel like this is someone that's thinking about their wish fulfillment, what would ultimately make them happy their wishes, their desires, okay? I do think that this is someone, Scorpio, that feels they may have made some kind of decision and it wasn't the best decision, right? The judgment in the verse could be like, I made a bad judgment call, um, I acted on impulse, right? It wasn't the best decision, I behaved out of character. There could be something here that they're realizing. And with the wheel, again, it, it feels to me like whatever changes that are happening within you and your person's energy, um, it, it does feel like it's for the greater good, right? The wheel, it's, it's favorable. So let's take a look at what the outcome can bring for this situation between you and them. The star. There's healing taking place. This could be with an Aquarius you're dealing with. It's telling you to keep your hope and faith alive in this situation because there's healing, there's recovery. There could be an opportunity that can actually come together in the end. 
We do have the Eight of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. There could be something that you're having to walk away from, Scorpio. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm saying this could be you because there's cups here. It doesn't have to be. There is a situation that you may be having to walk away from, whether there's some kind of sadness, disappointment from it, and go toward what's really ultimately going to bring happiness. There's something that you wish for, and it feels like that is not, it's actually closer than you may think. It's not as far off as you may feel right now, because the Ten of Cups, you're going to get your happiness. So whatever situation that you wish for, you're manifesting, you're hoping, it does feel like the Ten of Cups, it can come into fruition. And that's what it's telling me. But there could be a, something you're having to leave behind, Eight of Cups. Maybe a really disappointing situation. Maybe something that brought forth a lot of emotions within you. Maybe you're having to walk away. And that's what the Eight of Cups talks about. So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So you are ooh, aware of when I drop these readings for you, Scorpio. You don't want to miss out. So the five of wands, right? Five of wands is the challenge. Why is the five of wands here? Crossing is a two of wands. So I definitely see that there is a lot of indecision. There could be a lot of uncertainty how to move forward with someone. Um, wands is action, okay? All over the, the, the energy of the challenge. So you may feel like right now you can't take action toward a matter or, or with this person because there's so much friction. There could be something you're having to choose and it could be removing something, letting go of something, or finally making a decision that may have been very difficult to make because of the, the, the drama, the tension, the fighting. In the recent past, give me the energy of the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion. Seven of Cups again, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles in the verse. In the past, there's something that you really were willing to fight hard for with the Knight of Wands. It feels like you were not wanting to give up on it. But there came a situation where maybe someone, again, was not showing up for you. The Knight of Pentacles in the verse. It's almost like you expected this person to give you their time, their energy, their love, their loyalty. There's something here that you felt that it was, it was going to be promising. You know, maybe you were promised it and it never came through for you. The Nine of Wands, it feels like no matter how hard you felt for something, it wasn't going to come through for you or you felt like you weren't any closer to getting it than you were before. It does feel like you're dealing with someone who just was not ready to make that investment. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Verse, you, there's something here that just wasn't fair. And again, they were, they were not holding up their end of the bargain, however way you, you see it. Six of Pentacles in the verse is a lack of reciprocity. It's a one-sided situation. It's not uh, contributing financially. It's not being there, present for you. Okay, so take it out, resonates. And that is what brought great confusion. Seven of Cups, you didn't know where you stood. Give me the energy of the Six of Pentacles in the verse. For some of you, there could have been a distraction. Queen of Wands in the verse in the past could suggest that maybe there was another option in love. Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands could definitely be a past person, a, a, a ex lover okay a romantic interest passionate lover there's someone that may have created some kind of distraction or made your person lose focus on what actually mattered so we have the death but we also have the emperor in a verse so you could be dealing with someone that has made a series of bad decisions mistakes right the judgment in the verse and the emperor in a verse suggesting that they weren't thinking about what really mattered they were um maybe making decisions that were very selfish or self-centered only thinking about themselves and that could be something you're walking away from. Eight of Cups, you could be walking away from a past person. Six of Cups and the Three Cups of the Verse. You could be walking away from someone that you really, really deeply care about, Scorpio. And the reason why you're walking away is because the Three Cups, either there's interference of a third party or you feel like there's no chance of you coming together like things were in the past. You may have gotten to a point where things just weren't fun anymore. And you may have found yourself maybe holding on to a situation longer than you had to. Or that you want it to. Eight of Cups is removing yourself emotionally, disconnecting or walking away. So take it how it resonates. But I do feel this is, de again, someone that you care very deeply for. Six of Cups, maybe you guys go way back. High school, college days. <laughs> I mean, give me the energy of the death. There could be some kind of change or transformation in this connection that you're not, you're not seeing. Okay? The moon could talk about things that are hidden. So... With the moon, there could be a lot of fears. There could be a lot of insecurities that um, this connection is bringing up within you. But the moon also talks about things that are hidden behind closed doors. At the end of the day, the Nine of Cups is telling me you will get your wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups is in the outcome as well. So even if things don't seem like it's going in the right direction, it does feel like the energy, the outcome, okay, is supporting a, a beautiful 
Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, bliss. So give me the energy. The wheel is indicating that there's something that's happening, going on behind the scenes that can actually support that Nine and Ten of Cups. All right, give me the energy. We have two cards that flipped over, Eight of Swords and a Nine of Swords here. Eight of Swords came out in reverse. So whoever you're dealing with could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a lot of overthinking, anxieties, fears that they're working on letting go. A lot of frustrations, a lot of paranoia about a situation. This could be definitely their bad decisions, right? Um, a series of bad decisions, mistakes, and now they're regretting it. Now they're feeling guilty. I feel like this is them recognizing that maybe there are some things that they wish they hadn't done. Maybe there were things they'd done for selfish reasons with the Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords in verse, they're wanting to be set free in some way or form. They're wanting to be released from something they've done that wasn't maybe the right decision. Give me the High Priestess, Piscean Energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the verse, Queen of Pentacles in the Sun. Leo Energy, so there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo. Um, it does feel like someone is thinking about their long-term stability and security. They're now, they're not saying this to you, but there will be something here that will come out in the end. The sun is transparency, it's illumination, it's clarity, it's truth. And it feels like you, you're going to be finding out something here. You're going to be finding out the truth about a decision that they've made. And it feels like the decision that resulted in a missed opportunity. I think your person is realizing and now even taking accountability for something they've done. They realize the damage they've done. And again, maybe this is not something they would outwardly tell you, but it's going to come out with the sun in some way or form. Now, the star is a beautiful card for the outcome. There's healing. And the world in the verse is, is suggesting there's something from the past that needs to be healed and it will be healed. So there's recovery. There's also hopes, wishes, dreams being manifested here and actually coming into fruition. I mean, the star is a really beautiful card. So if there's something that you want it really deeply, Scorpio, it's coming it's coming to pass. And with the world in the verse, it may require you to dig up something from the past. There could be something resurfacing, um, a cycle that you thought was done. There, there's an energy here of unfinished business. Now, it's funny because <laughs> I did Cancer in Pisces reading and I got the world card in reverse. And these are from three different decks, okay, I've used. And I got the world in reverse in the outcome for all the reading. So you may be definitely dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces or you may have strong cancer or piscean energy in your birth chart the outcome is saying that with the world in the verse even though we're entering january 2023 there is something from the past that still has not been dealt with and it has to be dealt with and it's coming back up to to be dealt with resurface right it feels to me the star is indicating that if something has been left unhealed unsaid undone it's going to be Coming back up into your life in some way to be healed, recovered, the star is that it actually is going to turn out to be a good thing. The wheel is here. The star is here. Give me some more insight because we do have the energy of the Ten of Cups, which is happiness, fulfillment. Ten of Wands in a verse, if you've been emotionally burdened by a situation, Eight of Cups and a Ten of Wands in a verse is suggesting that you're going to let go of the emotional burdens of the past. If this person has disappointed you, you're going to let that go. If this person has pained you, you're going to let it go. If there's some kind of burden baggage you're freeing yourself from letting go, and that is going to allow you to reach this Ten of Cups here, okay? So the energy is quite beautiful. Now, the challenge for you guys is the Five of Wands and a Two of Wands in a verse. A lot of you are being challenged to, to make a decision and a decision could be moving away from some kind of source of conflict or drama. Maybe there has been a lot of drama with a particular person in your life. Two wands in a verse is like, you know, choosing, choosing which path. And some of you guys are going to choose to release yourself and move away from some kind of ongoing drama or dispute. Okay. And that is the challenge. That's what you're being challenged to do. Scorpio, that is what I have for you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you are aware of when I drop these readings. And I'll check you guys out soon. Have a beautiful week ahead. Take care.